Good morning and welcome to today's day in the life of vlog and check up on how I'm doing with the Valencia diet. I hope you guys enjoy. So we're going to go ahead and get started with making a breakfast for today. Okay, so I put two eggs in a bowl. I put a little bit of pepper and then the salt I use is, of course, the pink salt. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly whip that. And over here in my pan, pues tengo poquito aceite de olivo heating up. I'm just going to go ahead and whip these really nice so they get nice and fluffy. For my fruits, I'm going to go ahead and just do strawberries that we already have washed here. Y pues aquí quedó poquito of this um, spring melon. So I'm going to go ahead and use this y luego some strawberries. So I'm just going to do like a large fruit, which is actually like two fist size um, fruits or just like one large fruit. Pero strawberries and melon is going to be my fruit for my breakfast. So I prefer to slice my strawberries, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly slice a couple of them, I can in bowl. I'm not using my trusses, so just using the same bowl I'm going to use to eat in. Normally, me lo echo como con cottage cheese or yogurt, pero pues no hay ni cottage cheese ni yogurt, por eso voy a usar los huevitos for my non-protein. Um part of my meal y pues al rato que llegue my Walmart order because I just ordered from Walmart also y ya pues también igual me voy a echar mi agüita my vitamins so me voy a echar tanto de strawberries y luego voy a sacar unos melones so si se me en mi plato I guess so I did the two scrambled eggs y luego pues acá me eché unas strawberries and melons um, and of course mi agua and my vitamins also so we're going to go ahead and eat this and then we'll go out to the garage to do our little workouts. Okay, so ahora we're going to go ahead and start with our workout. So we're going to do the treadmill. <clears throat> so I always start off slow for a couple of minutes, like a little warm up. And then I usually go up to like 2 or 2.0. Um, on my no, let's try. on my pace so I don't know why it shows glitchy on the phone but anyways so we're gonna go ahead and start our work off I'm planning to do like 40 ish or maybe 60 minutes on here um, it's normally what I do so we're gonna go ahead and start our work off ahora. So I'm already at 60 minutes walking. Este, so ahorita le voy empezando a bajarle poquito para que se me vaya enfriando el cuerpo y todo eso para bajarme. Si no, después, when I get off the train, it feels like so horrible. But I've been drinking my water, so they also say like to drink a lot of water before you get on the treadmill and then while you're on the treadmill to get like really nicely hydrated. Because if you haven't been on the treadmill, it's like cuando te bajas, and you step like on regular floor, you just feel like, like, I don't know, so real, so, so weird. Como que you're just like super, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain. It's just como que desbalanceada. Like you can't even step right, you can't walk right, like a little, like something spinning, a little dizzy, something like that. So just, if you guys do treadmills, just make sure you guys do a really nice 
cool down, drink your water. A lot of water before. So I pretty much drink a whole water bottle before I start my workout. And then plus, look at 60 minutes and I'm almost done with this. Sometimes I even do finish that water bottle and then still pull out like another one. But we're going to go ahead and start pulling down. I reduce my speed to 1.0. I might have it at 2.5 so we're just gonna go ahead and finish cooling down either I go I have laundry to do and all of that stuff So our groceries have arrived. I have to go ahead and unpack this. You guys know I just finished my workouts. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unpack this. I also have to clean the kitchen. My wacharuna fruit, cause I had, this is for the beginners. I'm trying to do um, a looking great one. So I had like pretty much like one large fruit and then I had a non-protein it's the non-meat protein, which is my egg. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a one fruit. So I'm just going to go ahead and get like something. Que ya traía aquí de las pocas frutas que me quedaron. Creo que me voy a comer el manguito. So let's go ahead and quickly wash this because I always have to have like a meal. This was que I do my workout. So I'm not like weak. It kind of gives me back energy, especially when it's like a fruit. So now I'm going to eat my mango. You guys saw my knife didn't want to cut. So I went ahead and switched over a different knife. But I'm going to try manguito before I can start cleaning up and putting my groceries away. Overview of what I got. So I did get some stuff for the kids since they're on vacation. And I got some other stuff like for me, especially fruits and stuff. But I also picked these up. Um, I've never seen these. It's the order that I did my order. But I'm going to go ahead and try this. It says it has 4 grams of protein. And it's just like 60 calories in a bar. But we're going to go ahead and try one of these out. I know I could have just made them. But we're just going to go the easy way in trying this out. And then otra cosa that I found was these 20 grams of protein. They're like Greek yogurt. Um, so it's 170 calories. So I got this one that's the strawberry cream. Y luego this one that's the mixed berry vanilla. And then of course, como les dije, I got the kids some stuff. Dr. Valencia says that we can have, like we could eat kiwis with the peeling. I've never had that before. So I'm excited to try and see how that tastes like. So I got this little pack of that. If not, I'll just peel it off. Y pues agarré more fruits and so on over here. Otra cosa that I did get new for myself is these 9 gram of fiber. So that's like fiber ones, chewy bars. So this is the oats and chocolate. Um, I never had these before, pero pues we're going to see what they taste like. But it is 140 calories, 2 grams of protein, and of course 9 grams of fiber. Uh, another thing that I picked up was some low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese and this one has 7 grams of fiber, I mean 7 grams of protein. Y luego for whenever I'm lazy I picked up this little pack of, I creo que vienen, yeah, 6 um, guacamole packs in there y luego por delante Uvas. I got some chayotes because I'm going to make like a vegetable caldito. And then of course all kinds of other vegetables and everything. The kids love these dragon fruits. So I picked those up. Another thing that I noticed that I've never noticed before is these microwavable ready 
sweet potato so you just like put the bag in there um it's ready in 10 minutes so they're just little small size that so i'm gonna try those out and then i picked up like some regular size ones and then of course yogurt so i got the plain regular greek yogurt for myself this one is for the kids because Jayla likes this one a lot too. But sometimes I have this one also. Y luego pues I also picked up my cottage protein. protein. And for 80 calories and 14 grams of protein. This vanilla Walmart brand yogurt is 130 calories. And this one has 5 grams of protein. Y luego pues the Shovani plain Greek yogurt. This one has 90 calories and, of course, 16 grams of protein. So this one has, like, so much more protein than what the vanilla one has. And, but, yeah, this is just a little bit of what we picked up. I'm putting my groceries away, but I'm going to go ahead and open this, which was, which was actually these Greek yogurt mini bars. So they're super small, like fingers um so they say they're strained greek yogurt cheesecake texture chocolatey coating so they're like a they look like a twitz really good a little too sweet they're good but this is made on like that's chocolate and that they're not bad it's good um but i think they're too sweet for my liking i did so you see the sugar thing there so what i think i'm gonna do is i would just like puree some strawberries and then mix it with my greek yogurt and then just do like little frozen bite-sized um strawberry yogurt things pero tomos i'm still gonna eat it y pues como pueden ver my house is finally clean everything we swept the floors kitchen is nice and picked up just my water bottle ahí pero pues ya con toda la fruta que comemos un día en our house with the Valencia diet. So this is what like this fruit tray looks like. Of course I have mini donuts that I made for my kids. We have more fruit over here. I also get all those vegetables. I'm gonna start making the vegetable soup. And pues acá tengo my dining room nice and clean. And those packages have to go to the garage, but they're too heavy for me to pick up, so I just left them. Y pues no les enseñé how our restock refrigerator looks like. So así está todo eso. Esta puerta que se está cerrando. Pero acá puse como like the yogurt and stuff que me como yo. Acá puse los extra yogurts que le compré a los kids. Y luego pues we restocked it with sodas and water. So I need to go buy some more of the probiotics. Um, the poppy ones from Target because my Walmart never has them. Like I don't even think they have carry them at Walmart. Pero, pues, there's the sodas that everybody else in the house drinks. Y, pues, aquí tengo, like, my fruits ready to go. Um, y luego allá atrás hay más. Siempre los lavo and get them ready. Porque como que se los comen más fácil así. Pero, that's what the refrigerator looks like. Y, pues, ya. Como les había enseñado, the rest of the house is nice and clean. Yo solamente me falta finish laundry, pero... Pues me voy a sentar a mirar un poquito la tele y me voy a comer un string cheese. Yeah. Me voy a sentar aquí un ratito a mirar la tele. Um, pero me tengo que bañar, pero no voy a hacer en la noche porque tengo que cocinar en soja. Aquí so no voy a estar sudando. Me estoy comiendo un, un string cheese ahorita. Normalmente no me gusta skipar any of my meals. I always have my breakfast, I have my snack after I work out or like my walk. Y luego pues también me como my lunch where I add like a real protein, like a meat protein. Y luego pues me hago mi um, dinner. Pero pues comí un poquito tarde my breakfast. And I guess because, excuse me, and I guess because por lo mismo de que me comí, I was trying out that other este little snack. 
um, y más el snack que me eché after my breakfast, after my workout, I mean, um, como que no tengo hambre, so I'm just going to go ahead and wait until dinner time, plus it's already 2.30 ahorita, so we normally have dinner like at 5, so pues de qué sirve cenar ahorita. I'm going to go ahead and start empezando a preparar el caldito, so tengo papas en hojas, so voy a rapidamente preparar todo, get it ready, and then... Once everything's ready, I'm going to go ahead and put it in these two trays so we can go ahead and go over to the stove and start cooking over there. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly start peeling the potatoes. So I always do like all my scraps and everything inside um, like a little bowl or strain or something. So then after that, I can just go ahead and just throw it in the trash. Okay, so the papas are peeled. I'm just going to cut them like in fours. Ponerlos ahí. And then I have two zucchinis or calabacitas, whatever they are. I'm going to cut out the edges, slice it, and then do like, cut it into four pieces also. So I'm going to do that with both of them. Also have corn over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these. Now we're gonna just cut these into like like this. So they're not too big, so I'm just gonna. So like I was saying, we're going to go ahead and make them like thinner slices. Um, like that. And we're going to put it in another bowl. these green peppers that I'm going to just slice like in rounds. Like that. Then I have a little bit of cabbage here. off my cilantro. I'm also going to cut one tomato with a smaller size one. So I'm going to like kind of like dice it in big chunks. And I also need garlic. So we're just going to take like a garlic clove out of here. So aquí tengo my pan heating up. So nomás le voy a echar poquito aceite de olivo. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in our garlic. I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit before I add in the green onions and green chilies. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and add our green onions and chili. And give it a nice little stir. Now we're gonna put our baby carrot. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our, the potatoes. So I forgot to put in the tomato when I was frying it, so we're just going to put the tomato in at last. But now I'm going to go ahead and throw in the corn. And I'm also going to add in the cabbage, the chayotes, and I'm going to leave the zucchinis for a little later because those cook super fast. The tomatoes over here in the cilantro, we're going to go ahead and throw in the tomato. And the cilantro is also going to be last once like, the vegetables are more cooked and a little more tender. And I'm going to use some chicken bouillon for the flavor in there. So we're going to go ahead and add that in now. Now we're going to go ahead and add the zucchini or the calabacitas and also the cilantro. We're going to just soak it in and cover it to bring it back to a boil. And well, once it's all cooked and everything, this is what it turns out with just a little bit of lemon and it tastes delicious. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you all in the next one.